Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from telescoping product. Here, the problem came from Putnam 1977. In this problem, we have a product of n cube minus 1 over n cube plus 1 for n between 2 and infinity. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start with working on the general term that this product has. The general term is n cube minus 1 over n cube plus 1. We are going to simplify it a little bit to be able to write it as a telescoping product. To do this, let's start with what we have in the denominator. We have n cube minus 1. We can write it as n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1 and for the denominator where we have n cube plus 1 we are going to write it as n plus 1 times n squared minus n plus 1. Here the goal is to write it as a telescoping product. To do this we are going to factor out n from the second term that we have in denominator and denominator and then we will end up with what you are seeing here. Now instead of saying that the product that we have is from n is equal to 2 to infinity, we are going to say that the product is between 2 and n and we are considering where n is moving towards infinity and we are going to find the limit of this expression when n moves toward infinity. So to find the limit, we are going to divide the general term into two different terms and then we are going to write the telescoping product that we have as two telescoping products. The first one includes n minus 1 over n plus 1 and the second one includes n times n plus 1 plus 1 for the denominator and n times n minus 1 plus 1 for the denominator. Remember, both of these products are from 2 to n and we are considering the case where n moves toward infinity and we want to find the limit of this expansion that we have. Let's focus on the first term first. We have the product of n minus 1 over n plus 1 for n between 2 and n. If n is 2, then the first term that we have for this expression is going to be 1 over 3, the second term is going to be 2 over 4, the third term is going to be 3 over 5, and so on and so forth. As you can see, we can remove some of these terms. Basically, we can remove 3 with the one that we have 2 terms after 1 over 3. We can remove 4 with the one that we have 
again two terms after what we have for 2 over 4 and so on and so forth at the end what we are going to end up with is we are going to have n and n plus 1 from the last two terms and 1 and 2 for the first two terms as a result we are going to end up with 1 times 2 over n times n plus 1 now if we try 3 for n we will have 3 times 4 plus 1 over 3 times 2 plus 1 and we can remove 3 times 2 plus 1 from the denominator of the first term and the denominator of the second term this is the case when we move from n equals to 3 to 4 and so on and so forth at the end what we are going to end up with is n times n plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1 as you can see n times n plus 1 plus 1 is the denominator of the last term in this product and 2 times 1 plus 1 is the denominator of the first term in this product now let's move to the second term for the second term the general term includes n times n plus 1 plus 1 for the denominator and n times n minus 1 plus 1 for the denominator we are going to write a few terms here starting from 2 we are going to have 2 times 3 plus 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1 now let's put everything together we are going to end up with 1 times 2 over n times n plus 1 from the first term and n times n plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1 for the second term. If we simplify everything, we will end up with what you are seeing here at the last line. Basically, 2 times n times n plus 1 plus 1 over 3 times n times n plus 1 and we are going to talk about how to find the limit of this expression when n moves towards infinity now finding the limit of this expression is very easy since we can ignore plus 1 in the top of this fraction then we will end up with 2 over 3 for the final answer of this limit and that concludes the solution. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. I hope to see you in the next video.